Kal Halalium, Lai Hawa Bahasham, Shali Hawa Shai Bahasham, Makakadash, Double Honest the Apostles and those of the Storm, Salutations to the Sincere Akim, that's pushing the truth of the Holy Scriptures, and fearing sincerity and truth in these last days. Alright, um, what I said earlier was uh, in the ancient Paleo Hebrew, which is all praises to Yahweh, the Heavenly Father's only name who the world ignorantly calls Jah, Jehovah, etc. In the name Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus, and so Jesus, Yeshua, etc. And Yahweh Shai is his only, only name. In the Holy Spirit, which is Rakhakwadash, right, which is the wisdom and understanding of, the, of these words, the Holy Bible. All right. Um, I want to say Tawadi Yahweh, Bahasham Yahweh Shai. Baha Rakakwadash for putting the spirit on me to do another lesson and your thought of me thank you. Um there's another lesson of um the blasphemy of Esau. Um this is, I guess you could say this is part two of uh, Russell Bar Russell Brand, um the so called British actor, comedian, Messiah Complex, right? And you know, he really gets filthy with this. Alright? I'm gonna read the definition of blasphemy again as I did in the prior lesson and uh, blasphemy well, let's read blaspheme all right if someone blaspheme this is from the Collins co-built dictionary from 1998 to be printed it says if someone says if someone says or does something it's like if someone blasphemes they say rude or disrespectful things about the Mosai or they use Mosai's name as a swear word. He no longer felt afraid of blasphemy as he saw. He no longer feels um, afraid of blasphemy. Right? It says so in um, Daniel. Let's see if I get it here. It says Daniel chapter 7 verse 25 and he shall speak great words against the Mosai and shall wear out the saints of the Most High, and think to change times and laws, and they shall be given into his hand until a time and times and a dividing of times. And who else is doing this than so called white race? Right? So in this clip he's mentioning about uh, you know Jesus and who's this Jesus and so forth. I'm gonna let the clip speak for itself and then we're gonna get into the scriptures to spread Yahabash in Yashai. So if our heroes are all flawed and our villains are just mundane people like us, what can we believe in with impunity? Jesus Christ? Surely we can believe in Jesus. Well, yeah, of course we can, but which Jesus? Because I don't want to believe in the Jesus Christ of the neoconservative right of Fox News, of Rupert Murdoch, or the Daily Mail, that bigoted, homophobic Jesus, the Jesus that they've manufactured to prop up their authoritarian ideas. Like, check this picture, right, of Jesus that we was mucking about with earlier, you know. This is actually an image of Constantine, the emperor who converted to Christianity in 325 AD, fused with Sol Invictus. You see, you see, and it says that they're no longer free. They really think they got the world, world in their hands. And how we brought out that information, that the image is not the depiction of, of Yahweh Shai, who the world is going to call Jesus. Is, is is blatant blasphemy of how they they really think that none of this matter they really they don't have no respect for their creator right who's more profane than Esau which other race is going to these great lengths to to, to disrespect the Bible hmm? which other nation which other people right I'm gonna go, go to the scripture to the spirit this is uh, Psalm 64 verse 8 it's locked and my computer is moving a bit slow. I got a lot of information on it. And it says, uh, So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. So all that see the, the lies that Esau been telling over the years shall pull away from his folly, pull away from his wickedness, pull, pull away from his deception. 
All right, let's go back into the clip. The Roman sun god that the people previously worshipped, so their allegiance would now be referred to this new messianic figure who was associated with their leader. That's why, look, it's that, that halo, the sun, that's left over from Sol Invictus. There's no mention of Jesus wandering around a halo in the fucking Bible. Oh, thanks for the fishes and loaves. What's the fucking light bulb? It's not in there. They added that on to make the Romans think, oh, yeah, it's all right. It's basically the same. You know? Jesus seems really lovely, what well, I've read in the Bible, everything he says seems kind of cool. Love thy neighbour as you love thyself, give to the poor, receive treasure in heaven, the kingdom of heaven is within. Sounds alright, doesn't he? Sounds sort of like a hippie, commie, gay type of a guy. So where's this Jesus of the far right fucking coming from? Who's really bothered about homophobia? From like, if in America, from listening to the neoconservative right, you think that's all he cared about? Like, wait, don't be gay. You think it was called the Bible? Don't be a fucking puff. Like, <laughs> it's not in there. There's one little bit uh, in Leviticus, don't lay down with another man. It's not like a central thing. There's more than one little bit, Esau. The script is saturated with all this stuff. All right, saturated with it, one little bit, and that's why Yahweh Hashem is going to destroy them because they're quick to justify the wickedness. All right, they know what's there, they know what's there, but they just want to be involved in in in, in perverted and 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 just nasty, malicious, malevolent. Um, Nastiness they want to get involved because he was talk he's even talking earlier about he's gonna go into it and slack it up young you know if, um if, if I offend anybody by playing it so far but this is this is just to show how wicked and how filthy the the Edomites are all right and how wicked this world is gonna become more and more wicked because if he's if he's speaking if he's joking about these things what they're doing is desensitizing you to these things all right he's talking he's He's promoting a woman or, or even another man sticking his tongue up. We just played a clip. You think it's, a, it's, it's a Sabbath and you know I don't want to you know um, speak any trade. Keep it holy. You know, right? Just want to do the lessons. She's pretty abash in your shy. I have the time. Um, Bradley how give me a time slot here. I know defile the Sabbath at the same time but you know this is righteousness bringing out this this wickedness that he's that Esau is bringing out that Esau blatantly stands on stage in front of hundreds of people or thousands of people it's aired worldwide and not give a not not consider the wickedness of, of what what he's saying all right Jesus was that concerned about homosexuality he had the perfect opportunity to address you in his top 10 do's and don'ts <laughs> Number 10, don't be gay. Nip it in the bud. It's not in there. No mention of the old gayness in the anus. As far as the Ten Commandments are concerned, homosexuality is not considered as important an issue as thou shall not covet thy neighbor's oxen. Of course he's going to say that because he's a, he would be a Freemason. He would be a Freemason who believes in all sorts of philosophies and witchcraft because he's also a rock, rock singer, right? If memory serves me right. Um, Alistair Crowley, one, a 33 degree Freemason, said that um, homosexuality or same sex, especially with young, young boys or young girls, girls and girls and boys and boys, um, it's the highest form of witchcraft, right? Because that is negative energy, right? There's two vibrations, positive and negative vibrations. So when you go against the natural order of, of what Yahweh Shin Yoshai intended, that that's uh, that's the highest form of witchcraft, the highest form of, of, of cultivating negative energy. So they're going to tell you stuff like this so that they could continue to increase the frequency so that they can channel more demons, become more powerful, and tar tar tar. We're, we're in there just gonna lose because light always overcomes darkness. Light is um, positive energy is much more lighter than darker, darker energy, right? 
So let's let's continue this to this filth that this fool is saying. So like, if you're in a situation where you've really buzzed up and you've got to do something sinful for relief, Jesus <laughs> You don't have to do anything sinful for relief. You have to repent for relief. Let's go, let's go. Perfect. If you had gay sex, do you cover in your neighbor's oxen? Jesus! I'm a terrible day at work. I'm even gonna fuck this geezer in the ass, or I'm gonna cover my neighbor's oxen. Well, don't do that, you better. Uh, thanks, Jesus. I'm gonna slide my hard cock up into his ass, my balls banging on these balls. Yeah, 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 do what you gotta do, mate. Just don't look over next door's fence at that oxen, then imagine in your mind what it will be like if that oxen was your oxen. Don't do that, will you? No, no, I won't. I'm gonna come in his ass, I'm gonna suck my cum. Alright, we're gonna stop right here. Slock you up again, but just wanna show that there's nowhere in the scripture that that Yahushai know, subtly agrees to, to, um, to things like this. He said, I am here to do my father's business. And this is what his father's business is about. Let's read let's read a bit. A little bit that he said in the scriptures. Fucking demon. Uh, let's look back here. He said in the scriptures, the only mention of it. Alright. And it says... Uh, let's see. I believe it's Leviticus twenty and thirteen. Hmm. <laughs> Good coincidence. Verse twenty and thirteen. He he um brought us out in uh, brought. He did this show in 2013. It's lucky. There's no such thing as coincidence. <laughs> That's a spray. Let's see. He says, If a man also lie with mankind as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. All right. Now let's go to Revelation. Actually, let's go to Luke. Let's go to Luke. What Yahweh said. Luke twenty-four, the very last chapter, and verse forty-four. This is what Yahweh said. Damn devils. Let's close this off. Right? And he said unto them, the red writings, right? These are the words which I spake unto you while I was yet with you, that all things must be fulfilled which are written in the law of Moses, the first five books, same Leviticus, and in the prophets, and in Psalms concerning me. Alright, in Psalms, let me see if I find quick in this, this old Excalibur. <laughs> Alright, this is one of my favorite precepts, but I haven't been to it all for a while, so let's see if I find too straight. Let's see. It says you don't judge the world. Good. Thought you spare. This is Psalms ninety six. Let's 
system dialer.